Hello again. Yes, it's time to practice what I taught you. This is American English File, second edition, book two, workbook. 1B, Charlotte's Choice. Okay, first exercise. Let's get started. Grammar, simple present. Everybody, it's easy. A, write negative sentences. You get up early, you don't get up early. Just make the sentences negative. Exercise B. Complete the questions with do or does. Easy, right? Stop the video and do it. Very good. Check your answers with your partner. Okay, let's do it together. Number two. It rains a lot here. It doesn't rain a lot here. Number three. We don't live in a house. Number four, we, I don't play tennis. Number five, he doesn't have a beard. Look, he has a beard. He doesn't have a beard. All right. Number six, they don't go to the gym. Number seven, she doesn't write a blog. Right? Right? She doesn't write a blog. Very good. Exercise B. When do you meet your friends? Number two, does your laptop have a webcam? Number three, what time do we need to leave? Number four, does your mother work from home? Number five, which websites do you use most? Number six, does your best friend like action movies? Number seven, does your brother spend a lot of time on Facebook? Well done. Impressive for a start. All right, here's an exercise to do together, me and you. Complete the text with the correct form of the verbs in the box. The correct form, for example, not come, live, earn, prefer, get along, not see, study, share, invite, not like, work. For example, this one is used. I am very different from my best friend Tabitha. Tabitha works, works as a nurse all right okay so let's do the rest and she earns a lot of money i'm a student and i study music in college i want to be a music teacher tabitha lives in a small house in the country and i share an apartment with some friends in the city we often invite friends for dinner but tabitha doesn't come. She's really shy. Personality, right? She's really shy. So she doesn't like being with other people. I'm very extroverted. So I prefer to be in a group. I don't see Tabitha much because she's usually busy. But when we're together, we always get along really well. Some people say that opposites attract. And for me and my best friend Tabitha, it's true. Well done. It was good. Now, time to get serious. Vocabulary. Everybody, appearance, personality. Exercise A, complete the sentences. Does your sister have brown eyes or blue eyes? All right. Tanya's dad doesn't have any hair. He's... B -b 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 -b. Oh, yeah, you know it. Write it. B, personality. Complete the opposite. Talkative. What is the opposite of talkative? Someone who talks a lot. What is the opposite? Quiet. Right? Very good. And part C. Match the questions 1 to 6. These are the questions. 1 to 6. With the answers A to F. With the answers A to F. For example, what did you look like when you were a child? C. I had short curly hair and I was overweight. Okay, you have to do a little matching all right now as always stop the video and do it very good check your answers with your friends very nice okay let's do it together so tanya's dad doesn't have any hair he's bald number three my best friend's hair isn't straight it's curly right number four andy doesn't shave he has a beard and a mustache, like just like your teacher. This is my mustache and this is my beard. Very good. Number five, you aren't 
fat at all. I think you're very slim. Slim. Important. It's slim. Thin in a good way. Okay? For example, you're slim. Means you're fit. You look sexy. Just like your teacher. Right? Okay. Number six. When Jake was young, he was very thin. But now he is a little overweight. Number seven. My hair isn't brown. It's red. And I'm not short. I'm medium height. Medium height. Good. Now, personalities. Number two, shy. Extroverted, like me. Generous. Cheap. Stingy. Friendly. Unfriendly. Hardworking. Lazy. Kind. Unkind. Serious. Funny. Stupid. Smart. Like you. You are very smart. Right? Good. Now, the matching. Number two, what does your husband look like? D. He's, he has short dark hair and a must mustache. Okay. Number three, what's your best friend like? Personality. E. She's smart and really extroverted. All right. Number four, what does your sister look like? Appearance. Okay. A. She's tall and slim with long blonde hair. My kind of girl. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Okay, number five, what's George like? B, he's very kind and hard working. Number six, what were you like when you were at school? All right, F, I was very talkative and a little lazy. Well done, you did very good, impressive. I'm very happy that you're really smart and you are very ooh, good looking. Good for you. Now, it's time for pronunciation. Everybody, do you remember these sounds? Snake. S. Zebra. Z. And is. Is. One watch, two watches. Right? Okay. I want you to listen and circle the verb with a different sound. For example, look. Snake. S. Works. S. Laughs. S. Watches. Is. Different, right? Listen and circle. File 1B. Pronunciation A. 1. Works. Laughs. Watches. 2. Lives. Thinks. Drinks. 3. Knows. Rains, likes. Four, runs, starts, goes. Five, leaves, dresses, washes. Six, teaches, cooks, misses. Okay, well done. Now, I want you to listen and repeat, everybody. Okay? File 1B. Pronunciation B. 1. Works. Laughs. Watches. 2. Lives. Thinks, drinks, three, knows, rains, likes, four, runs, starts, Goes. Five. Leaves. Dresses. Washes. Six. Teaches. Cooks. 
Mrs. Well done. Now, everybody underline the stressed syllable. For example, talkative, talk, the first syllable. Okay, do it. Easy for you. Now, I want you to listen and check. File 1B, pronunciation D. 1. Talkative. 2. Extroverted. 3. Unfriendly. 4. Generous. 5. Mustache. 6. Serious. 7. Curly. 8. Quiet. 9. Overweight. Okay. So, extroverted, unfriendly, generous, mustache, serious, curly, quiet, overweight. Well done. You did very good. Okay. We have a reading. The title of the reading is Singles Day in Shanghai. And it's funny because today that I'm recording this, it's the Valentine's Day in Istanbul. Right. Okay. So, everybody, I want you to read the article. All right. What happens on Singles Day in Shanghai? And I want you to read the article again and mark the sentences true or false. Okay, I'm gonna wait for you. Read it and do it. A few moments later. Well done. Now it's my turn. November 11th is Singles Day in Shanghai. And every year a dating event takes place where all the single men and women of the city have a chance to meet a partner. Okay, last year it was so popular that the organizers had to close online registration because there were no more places nice so in on november 11th they have an event where single people come together and maybe they have a chance to meet the partner right good between 10,000 and 40,000 people attend the event every year it's held in a district of shanghai called thamestown right thamestown right at least 50 dating agencies take part they set up stands in the town hall with billboards displaying cards with the height, birth date, education, and annual income of thousands of clients. Interesting. People who did not manage to register for the event organized their own unofficial dating system by writing their names and phone numbers on pieces of paper and attaching them to the fence outside the town hall. More people take part in Singles Day every year because of the growing number of single adults in Shanghai. In the city, more than 24% of people over the age of 15 are unmarried. Well, no surprise, everything is so expensive all over the world, who's going to get married? Now, let's answer it together. Alright, the people who take part in Singles Day aren't married, true. Number two, many people register for the event on the internet. True. Number three, all of the dating events are in the town hall. False. Number four, people who do not register for the event can't find a partner on Singles Day. False. They put their names and numbers, you know, on the fence or something. And number five, every year there are more single adults in Shanghai. True. Unfortunately, all over the world. Because everything is so expensive, unfortunately. That's why you have to be your best version. Oh, I'm a teacher. I shouldn't give you motivation. Or maybe I should. Okay, now, underline five words that you don't know. Check them in a dictionary or Google Translate and tell it to your partner. Well done. You see the headphones on my head, right? What does it mean? Yes, it's time to listen. Everybody listen to a radio program about online dating. You know what online dating is, right? Tinder, those applications, or even Instagram. Okay. How many people call the program? So, 
listen and tell me how many people, one, two, three, four, five, how many people call the program, all right? Okay. File 1B, listening. Hello and welcome to Love Online. Today, we'd like you, the listeners, to call in and tell us about your experiences with online relationships. And, oh my, that's quick. We already have our first caller. Hello? Hi, my name's Alan. Hello, Alan. Can you tell us about your experience with internet dating? Yes, of course. I'm pretty shy, you see, and I'm not very good at talking to girls I don't know. So one day, I registered on an online dating agency, and I met Susan. And what happened? We got along really well. In fact, after four months, we got engaged. Congratulations, Alan. Thanks for calling. Now, I think we have another caller. Hello? Hi, I'm Kate. Hello, Kate. What can you tell us about Love Online? Well, I decided to try a dating site because I work long hours and I don't have time to meet new people. So, what happened? Well, I met some guys and then I met Craig. Who's Craig? Well, now he's my husband. We're very happy together and we're thinking of having children. That's great news, Kate. It looks as if it is possible to find love online. Now, who's our next caller? Paolo. Hi, Paolo. Did you marry someone you met on the internet? Yes, I did. But it was the worst thing I ever did. Oh, why's that? Because she didn't really love me. How do you know that? It was in the newspaper. There was an article about a woman who contacted men online married them, and then left with all their money. And there was a photo of my wife next to the article. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Paolo. And I'm afraid that's all we have time for today. Join me next week for another edition of Love Online. That's what you get when you mess with bad girls, all right? So how many people called the program do you remember three okay all right now part b i want you to listen again match the colors with the sentences a to f for example alan c he or she got engaged with the partner he or she met online okay easy right do it match file one b listening Hello and welcome to Love Online. Today, we'd like you, the listeners, to call in and tell us about your experiences with online relationships. And, oh my, that's quick. We already have our first caller. Hello? Hi, my name's Alan. Hello, Alan. Can you tell us about your experience with internet dating? Yes, of course. I'm pretty shy, you see, and I'm not very good at talking to girls I don't know. So one day, I registered on an online dating agency, and I met Susan. And what happened? We got along really well. In fact, after four months, we got engaged. Congratulations, Alan. Thanks for calling. Now, I think we have another caller. Hello? Hi, I'm Kate. Hello, Kate. What can you tell us about Love Online? Well, I decided to try a dating site because I work long hours and I don't have time to meet new people. So, what happened? Well, I met some guys and then I met Craig. Who's Craig? Well, now he's my husband. We're very happy together and we're thinking of having children. That's great news, Kate. It looks as if it is possible to find love online. Now, who's our next caller? Paolo. Hi, Paolo. Did you marry someone you met on the internet? Yes, I did. But it was the worst thing I ever did. Oh, why's that? Because she didn't really love me. How do you know that? 
It was in the newspaper. There was an article about a woman who contacted men online, married them, and then left with all their money. And there was a photo of my wife next to the article. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Paolo. And I'm afraid that's all we have time for today. Join me next week for another edition of Love Online. All right. So Alan got engaged and E, he doesn't like meeting new people. Kate, A, she doesn't have time for social life. And F, she is happily married now but doesn't have any children. Paolo, B, he made a mistake. D, uh, he married someone who was married before. Actually, yeah, of course. Very nice. All right. Now, these are some words that you can use. Guy, guy, partner, partner, single person, single person, smile, smile, sociable, sociable, be into something, be into something, feel like doing something. Feel like doing something. Get along well. Get along well with. Go on a date. Go on a date. Sense of humor. Sense of humor. And that's the practice for today. I hope that you liked the session. If you have a question, be sure to drop me a comment and I will answer you. Wish you all the best. And I expect you to practice on a daily basis. Every day. See you soon.